What is a non-traditional scale that still sounds good over a blues progression? Well, uh, I've got a quite, uh, quite the unusual scale that I'm going to show you right now. We're going to call it, don't get scared of the name, but we're going to call it the Lydian Dominant Scale. And it's actually a mode of another weird name, named scale called the Melodic Minor Scale. What we're going to do is we're going to zoom in, I'm going to play a blues in A, and I'm going to show you how you can use this scale to get a, a very untraditional sound, but it definitely works in the, in the blues. We're going to zoom in and I'm going to show you uh, what I'm talking about. And uh, let's do it. Here we go. <laughs> have heard some kind of weird exotic sound in there and so yeah there's a there is a kind of more jazz scale that you can use I only used it over the four chord so if you're playing blues and a when I go to the four chord which is uh, in this instance I'm playing D9 it could be D7 just over that I play this weird scale right there and then everything else I'm doing, my normal blues ideas. And here is the scale, just remember it's over D, so we're gonna call this D Lydian dominant, which comes from the A melodic minor scale. But anyway, you can just plug this right in over that, over that uh, four chord, and it's gonna work. And you know, it's a nice exotic sound. Thus the question. It's a weirder scale that can still be used in the blues. So here it is, just remember D is the root. So fifth fret on the A and seventh fret on the G, but then I'm just gonna show you all the way from E to E on the strings. It's four, five, seven, eight. That is weird. Okay, then, because we're kind of doing some weird shifting of a normal scale, we're going to play the 5 and 7 on the A string. And I'm using my pinky right there because I'm going to have to do another finger transition. So 4, 5, 7, 8, 5, 7. Now on the D string, 4, 6, 7. So on the D, four, six, seven. Then on the G, four, five, seven. So we have four, five, seven, eight, five, seven. Oh, a lot of numbers. Four, six, seven, four, five, seven. And then on the B string, we are going to play just five, seven. Okay. Then, just like on the low E string, we've got four, five, seven, and eight. Now watch, I'm uh, gonna play this little blues loop here, and I'll just play it for that D chord. Here it comes. It, just for that little moment. I'm gonna let it happen again. So you don't have to start on the low E. 
right? Here comes a, a high E thing. And just regular blues around it. Thing I, uh, one thing I did there on the last time is I kind of started to play it a couple of beats before it actually went to that change. So it added some nice tension and then obviously still more tension when it goes to that four, but you can kind of lead into it before you actually even get to that chord. So what you were playing there over the four chord was the D Lydian dominant scale. How do you like them apples? Um, but as you could hear, it did kind of sound like it had a familiar sound to it. So give it a shot. It's a little more advanced, but uh, you might have fun with it.